Good morning. Now I'm leaving Chicago on route to Charlotte and Florence, South Carolina. The food court's pretty busy. Provide any food and beverage service. We recommend purchasing any food or beverage you may need for the flight here at the airport before you board. Still, really got a magazine. That's nice. I made it to Charlotte now. I have to transit to my flight to Florence. My flight to Florence is at E38B. So down this way, I gotta go to the E gates. They turned off the moving walkways here. The long one, the short one's still working it looks like. Oh, this clothing store is open. They even have a sale going on. I wanna see what other things are open at the Charlotte airport. Chocolate one's open. I'm gonna go now to the food court. I got an hour and a half layover here. I'm gonna go check things out. All the rocking chairs are full. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Do not accept articles from unknown persons to carry on the aircraft. Maintain control of your carry on items to prevent introduction of dangerous articles without your knowledge. Report any suspicious persons. Food court still working. To your nearest law enforcement officer. Thank you. Have a good flight. You can still get sushi here. The only one that closed was this one. The barbecue pit and the Chick-fil-A and Cinnabon. The seats filled up. It's getting busy. It's around 12 noon now. I'm gonna head to my gate. I just took my little break. Man, Burger King's so busy. They got a line that goes all the way to the hall. That is one busy Burger King. All right, I'm down the each terminal. To go all the way to the small planes that take you to Florence. It's gonna be only about a 35 minute flight because it's only 98 miles away. It's really close. Man, this airport is pretty busy. All these gates are operating. This one's going to Harrisburg. I'm all the way at the end. Einstein Bagels is pretty full. Look how busy that place is. There's even a line like Starbucks. Oh, this bar is closed though. No people there. Now this E-terminal is pretty long. It keeps on going and going. I'm supposed to be at 38E to go down this moving walkway. Talk about busy. Everything's operated in this terminal. This is where those regionals like Envoy, PSA, and Republic operate out of. Another long line at Burger King. People love Burger King around here. Starbucks is closed though. I love flying on the regionals. You gotta go outside to catch a flight. I'm taking this small Embraer 145. It's a short 35 minute flight, so that's what happens. Check this aircraft out. It's so small. Emergency, let me know if you're going to talk right back. So do not meet back to the requirements. Let me have to find. I was totally planning to huddle together. This airport is old school. They use the old ramp here. This is such a small airport that only two flights fly here per day. Wow, 
look at this airport. There's four gates, but only two flights. Now that's a small airport. 75 years of service. Here's a book exchange. There's the vending machines. Here's a check-in counter. Oh, wow, that's small. Only one check-in counter. It's the rocking chairs. It's the rental cars. And that's it. Welcome to Florence, South Carolina. My ride's supposed to be here somewhere. I'm not sure where it's at. I think this is Nick now. My ride's finally coming. There you go. How you doing, Jim? Pretty good, how are you? Good. Where should I put my luggage? In the back? Uh, just on the back seat is fine. Okay. Hey, let's get our photo outside, okay? Uh, that's fine, James. We're right here, no? You got your mask? Yeah. All right, I made it to Florence. Hey, thanks for coming to pick me up. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so, where are we headed to now? Well, we're gonna stop by Walmart and we're going home. That's good. How long is the drive? Probably 10 minutes. Oh, that's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, Have you flown out of Florence before? No, no. <laughs> that's why you got lost. Yeah, I know. I know I'd be here. <laughs> oh man, but at least you told me about this airport. It saved me yeah. a lot of time. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Florence Airport. There it is. PD Regional Airport. Yeah. Everyone thought I was going to Italy. Why? I said I'm going to Florence. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's completely different Italy here. Yeah. <laughs> It's far, far away from Italy. I showed my friends my boarding pass from Charlotte to Florence on American Airlines. They're like, man, you're going to Italy? Are you uh, even allowed? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was good. So we're playing it safe with our mask and our sunglasses, That's huh? That's right, yes. We, we keep uh, safe practices, right? As I say. And what about your gloves? I got my gloves here. Oh, okay. In the store, so. All right, good. You can touch the shopping cart then. Uh, well, you, yeah, the gloves, they got to... Uh, Spirit, like alcohol there. So oh, okay, good. Do you like this little town? No. <laughs> After a couple hours, you will understand why. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, but it's not as bad as Kodiak? No, no, no. It's a civilization, but it's nothing <laughs> happening here. You know, like all businesses are dead here. Oh, okay. Even Karama did not affect this town at all. Oh, really? That's how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's the same. <laughs> everything's the same. No business is closing up. You'll see, I mean, you'll see by yourself. Okay. Yeah, everyone right. goes to Walmart, huh? Yeah, everybody goes to Walmart. Oh, man. All right, we made it to Walmart. I like it. What are we going to buy? I don't know. I need something. Some food? No, no, no food. Some stuff? Some stuff. Okay, good. I'll get some food then. Right. We don't want to starve. All right. Well, we got Piggly Wiggly here. Yeah. Have you ever shopped there? Yep. Piggly Wiggly. What are you cooking? Uh, Is it done? Not yet, not yet. How many do you have inside? Eight. Eight? All right, so maybe another, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yeah. All right, good. We can go outside for now. Yeah, let's go outside. The corn finally is finished. Finally. Mm -hmm. We got like eight of them. It should be finished by now, huh? Yeah, no matter what, I'm gonna get the knife. Get a knife? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice and yellow. So when are we supposed to stop eating food at night? 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. Oops. <laughs> what happens at 7? At 7, the pancreas goes to sleep. Okay. It stops producing hormones. Even in the summertime when like the sunset mm -hmm. is at 10 p.m.? Yeah, you still have to, yeah, it doesn't matter. Right? Because your body wake up when you wake up in the morning. Oh, so like at 7 a.m. or something? Whenever you wake up and then there's light, then you know, it has sensors in your brain and then your circadian sees the cycle first. Oh, okay. Alright, it's a good new plan I'll do. So no more eating at night. So you think we'll eat four each? Three. Three, three each? I give it three. <laughs> Alright, we're having our picnic here. So we got three corn and what's for dessert? <laughs> melon. Got melon, cantaloupe, all the way from wherever it came. When they went to Anchorage, before they went, yeah. to Alaska, they go, hey Nick, just a reminder, go to the Walmart, buy big toads, and fill them up with the food, because food is very expensive here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bathroom. 